Welcome to the Syngenta Crop Protection Research and Development Center in Stein in Switzerland. My name is Katharina Gauss and I'm a chemist here. You may wonder why I meet you in the canteen. We often forget that the plants that are used to produce this food are under threat from diseases and pests as well as from extreme weather conditions. Here in Stein, we help farmers to sustainably protect the health of their plants. People from more than 20 nationalities and with different scientific backgrounds work here on site. We're also integrated in a global research and development network with more than 5,000 colleagues. After my break, I'll take you on a little tour. I'm in one of our chemistry labs now. Molecules are the star of the show here. Plants are made up of molecules and the products that protect them from diseases, insects and fungi are also molecules. Every year we produce thousands of molecules and test them on millions of insects, fungi and plants that are produced in biology. Our scientists identify and produce around 14,000 molecules every year. As an example, for our fungicide adepidin, 3,800 molecules were tested over four years to find the right candidate. During the design phase, we look for molecules that combine several criteria. Amongst these are low application rates and low residues. To select the right molecules early on in the process, we use modern technologies to simulate their properties. Only few molecules combine these critical features. It's like finding the needle in the haystack. Fortunately, we have our robotics platform, which helps us speed up the discovery process. We also develop biologicals, crop protection products that are produced by fungi or bacteria. For synthetic and biological crop protection products alike, sustainability is key. We collaborate with partners in academia and industry. We have now reached the biology building and I will hand over to my colleague Patrick. Hi Patrick. Hi Katharina. My name is Patrick Köckel and I'm a biologist. Biology is the science of life organisms. I'm particularly fascinated by how pests and diseases cause harm to plants. Here in Stein, we test how chemical molecules and biological compounds can protect plants from such harm. We do that with crops and their pests and diseases that are of importance worldwide. We also test our compounds against pests that cause harm to human health, like for instance malaria transmitting mosquitoes. To test compounds we use uh, automation with robots or image recognition by computers to ensure the efficiency. In an early test phase, we spray test compounds on leaf segments and infest them with various diseases or insects. When a test compound is working well, it will protect the leaf segment and it stays green and vital. When the test compounds are not active enough or even inactive, the disease will spread over the leaf segment and cause a lot of damage. For chemical and biological crop protection products, we use the same approaches to test their efficiency. Chemical and biological crop protection products have very different characteristics. Our research targets to find combinations of products where we get complementation of their strength to protect the plant health. Before, you have seen how we use leaf disc tests to detect the effects of our test compounds. In a more advanced test phase, we use whole plants to see how the test compounds work to protect the plant. In this short video, you see a potato plant that has been treated with a test compound and an untreated plant. Both of them have been invested with the larvae of Colorado potato beetle. It doesn't take an expert's eye to see what damage pests can do to an unprotected plant. Another example is a disease called potato late blight. In the 19th century, this disease caused massive damages across European potato fields. More than a million people starved to death in Ireland alone. 
In the 21st century, crops are still at risk. If we wouldn't protect potato fields today, we would still get big losses from potato late blight. This is why farmers in Switzerland and also in other countries still need effective crop protection products. In our screening, we use the disease also on our tomato plants. Here you can see the damage caused by the disease just after four days of incubation in the greenhouse versus a healthy plant. To assess the potential of a compound to protect the crop, we combine our understanding from various experiments with different plants, pests and diseases. This allows us to select the best candidate for further development. Now you have seen how we perform tests on already established plants. But a successful harvest always starts with the seed. In the early growing phase, all crops are very vulnerable. Their young roots in the soil and their delicate shoots are exposed to all sorts of diseases and pests, extreme weather or harsh climatic conditions. In order to protect the young plants already in this early phase, we apply our compounds to the seed before planting. This will allow to protect the young plant from diseases and pests. Here you can see a very nice example. These are young corn seedlings and in the soil we have infected uh, soilborne fungus disease. This fungus will attack the young roots as soon as they start to grow. So in this tray over here, we did not perform any treatment. You can see how the plants have not developed well. In this tray over here, we have protected the seeds with our seed care treatment. You can see the seedlings have very well developed and I bet every farmer would be very happy to have such a corn stand in his field. There is much more to keeping a crop healthy than protecting it from diseases and pests. The challenges that we're facing here in research will now be explained to you by Katarina. The effect of climate change have made extreme weather conditions around the world more likely. Here is a normal corn cob and here one that was affected by drought. As you can see, the drought has clearly reduced the size of the cob as well as the number of kernels and their weight. In Stein, we try to make plants more resilient against adverse weather conditions such as heat, drought or cold stress. The plants have to be able to reach the natural resources and use them like water and nutrients as efficient as possible. Here we focus on the main field crops such as corn, wheat and rice and on drought and heat stress. On a cornfield in Chile, you can see the effect of drought stress on corn plants. We don't always have to travel far to simulate different climate conditions for our research. We have more than 100 climate chambers here on site. Let's take a look. In these climate chambers, we can precisely control temperature, humidity, light, and other factors. This way, we can simulate different climate conditions. For instance, drought stress in wheat. Our site tour or our research would not be complete without talking about soil health. Looking at these four examples of Swiss soils, you can nicely see how diverse soil can be. To perform a sustainable agriculture, Growers need healthy soils that are rich in carbon or beneficial soil organisms like earthworms. Healthy soils are also better to hold water and withstand soil erosion. On our tour, we have now seen different examples of how crops are at risk. We have also learned that safety, including soil health, is a key priority already at the early stage of our research. In our new soil health facility, we therefore study how our products interact with soil properties and soil organisms. These studies we perform inside under controlled lab conditions or also outside in field trials. Now we're not inside the protected glasshouses anymore, but outdoors in our field station. 
Here we experience a full growing season and also the same weather conditions as the farmers do. In a series of tests, we verify the characteristics of our new compounds, such as duration of effect or the activity and behavior on different leaf surfaces or on the surfaces of the berries of the plant. The most promising molecules that fulfill our criteria in regards to efficiency, safety and costs are developed to new market products. In long and diligent studies they're tested and the whole process from discovery over the development and the registration of new products takes approximately 10 years. We are proud that our innovative technologies contribute to new market products that help the farmer to sustainably feed the world.